Hey! As you can probably hear, the audio computer's working again, so yay! I managed to tear myself away from playing Fallout 4 long enough to come in front of my camera and talk about headcanon. Which is rad. For those of you who don't know, which is probably more people than I imagine, headcanon is the stories you tell about games or media in your head that you hold to be true or canon and sort of operate on. And ever since I discovered it, I have been doing it basically nonstop, not just for games and media, but for people in my actual life. Which is why Kaylee is a bear fighter. Canon. Bear fighter. You can find ideas about headcanon in things like fan fiction or shipping, you know, putting two characters together in a relationship, or more than two characters from TV shows, media, video games, movies, etc. For me, though, it's definitely video games. Tonight, I found out that Fallout 4 organizes things by my character. So I don't have to go through this elaborate sort of save game swapping ritual like I do with Skyrim, which I might talk... I'll talk about that during the Skyrim video later this month. It also, it turns out, lets me customize the face of my spouse. So now I'm like, oh... This is what happens if um, she lives, and this is what happens if he lives. Alternate timelines. Yep. I love headcanon because it is so delightfully nerdy. Like, it is just about taking something you like and turning the dial to 11. And that is what being nerds is about. And you're like, sure, I like this thing, but what could I do to like it more? To use it to create in a way that is new, to tell new stories. And when you hit that, when you hit that dial, it is, I will point out, embarrassing. Trust me, when, it, when we get to the Skyrim video... I will talk about my elaborate Skyrim spreadsheet, and it is, <laughs> it is, it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing how much work goes into it. But at the same time, it is so much fun, and it makes games and movies such a richer experience. Here are some headcanons that I have developed uh, over the course of mostly being sick and watching bad movies. But I have a whole bunch of them. In The Expendables, the whole series, Sylvester Stallone's character is actually just an old army queen who really likes hanging out with muscly men. Seriously, go watch that scene with Van Damme again. Changes the whole thing. In Terminator Genesis, they meet up in 1984, 1985, 1985, and they fight a bunch of Terminators. And that's the end of the movie. If you've seen the movie, you know why my version is better. You know. In Mission Impossible 2, seriously, I was super sick like a month ago, and I watched, that is what I do. I watch horrible, toxically masculine movies for the whole time that I'm sick. Anyway, in Mission Impossible 2, the villain and his henchman, his like lead henchman, have this like closeted gay relationship. And the leading lady, who's caught up in his romantic triangle, is interfering with it from the henchman's perspective. Seriously, go watch the movie and you'll be like, oh damn, those are a few of my sillier ones. Uh, but I would love to hear about yours. Throw them in the comments, because headcanon is awesome and it's nerdy and it's exciting. And it is the kind of thing that, while it can embarrass us, it also empowers us to take the things that matter to us and tell the stories we want to or need to tell. It invites us to think and imagine more deeply, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. I'll see you tomorrow.